unless you are living in a cave for the past few weeks, you would have come across ChatGPT and GPT-4 have taken the world by storm. Problem is, there are so many tools in the market that can be used to leverage on ChatGPT to help you in your day-to-day -day business and automate your tasks. Today, I'm going to show you an all-in-one tool which integrates ChatGPT with search engine and automate web monitoring tasks. This Swiss army knife of ChatGPT is called Harper AI or Harper.ai. Let's dive in now. Now we are at this uh, Harper AI website and this is a beautiful website from the, my home page. Before we can actually use that, you know, we have to actually uh, download this uh, Chrome extension and by clicking this link. I have actually downloaded this uh, Chrome extension and also put it into my, my browser. We can actually start using it now. But before that, let me go through what are the functions of this uh, Harper.ai Chrome extension. Basically, this uh, Chrome extension is a uh, very powerful and is all in one in the sense that you know, it combined with this uh, search engine uh, capability where you can actually uh, use the capability of search to actually uh, combine with ChatGPT to give you better results and automate the task as well as also simplify your workflow. From the website, you can actually see that there are many, many use cases and one of the uh, additional use cases uh, you know, that is different from other ChatGPT uh, Chrome extension is this, what you call this uh, app automation. So you can actually do a lot of automation in this various kind of uh, app here, which uh, I will actually show you later on. But the basic function will be same as other ChatGPT functions, uh, ChatGPT Chrome extension, for example, to do SEO, marketing, copywriting, uh, get some information of, on productivity, you know, uh, HR recruitment, product development, uh, write some codes, or maybe even uh, get some help on Google Sheet or Microsoft Excel uh, formulas. So let's dive in in details. Before we can actually use it, as I said, you have to download this Chrome extension. And this is the Chrome extension I'm talking about. When you click this Chrome extension, it will come up with a menu. And this is the menu. There are two ways of doing it to, to actually assess this uh, Chrome extension. One way is actually click this uh, icon, you know, Hapa AI. The, the, the other way is actually, uh, okay, let's close. The other way is actually you combine alternate plus A. Then you bring up this uh, Chrome extension. And this Chrome extension is actually, you know, page aware which means it works in uh, any web page, you know, uh, most of the web page, I would say, because some of the web page are locked, so you cannot access to the text on the web page. So it shows responses from uh, ChatGPT along with uh, Google search and extract all the content and can summarize as well as chat with uh, AI, you know, in the usual way. Let's do uh, some what you call a uh, task uh, with this uh, HAPA dot ai group extension okay let me go to our website you now this is about home page there are many uh chat gpt prompt and they have actually done a pre pre-done all about more than 100 uh, prompts and we can actually know uh, bring up the prompt here by clicking the slash command this is the slash command you can see that you know we have so many of them uh, various kind of a uh, command so we are going to do some demo on some of the command because we can't do all because there are about 100 of them. So this is the first command is actually a very popular, which is a composer, which actually means that you no, know, you can craft any kind of text. You know, this is the power of this uh, chat GPT and from tweets, you know, email, blog posts, you know, job description, you know, all kind of things. OK, let's do that. Let's click this. So there are so many uh, tools like email, direct message, tweet, you know, in, uh, this is LinkedIn, you know, Facebook. So in a web page, we want to do a press release. Let's do a press release. Click here. So the, this is the prompt, you know, a predetermined prompt. What do you want the press release to say about or be about? 
leave blank if I will try to figure out based on the con uh, page you are opening. So this is actually a, a very simple kind of a press release form. So let's say we do not want to write anything. We just leave it blank and just type enter. Any additional instruction you want me to keep in mind for the simplicity, they just say no and we click enter. So now you can see that, you know, the chat GPT is actually uh, working behind. And the press release is being written uh, at the present moment. We can actually expand the menu so that you can have a better reading experience. Okay, this press release is almost finished. So you can see that, you know, it's actually using a chat GPT uh, 3.5, you know, in the background. So before I forget, you know, I forgot to tell you guys that uh, in order to use this uh, ChatGPT Chrome extension called uh, HAPA, you need to subscribe to this, uh, what they got ChatGPT Plus or maybe the free version of ChatGPT. So this is two condition. So I'm not going to tell you how to subscribe to this uh, ChatGPT. It's quite simple. You know, if you do not know, just let us know in the comment. So for immediate release, uh, download Silo offer the best lifetime deal and tech bargain for digital marketers. So this is a typical uh, press release uh, format. And you can see that this is quite you know, up to date. You can actually extract the information from this page. So this is one of the function. So let's do uh, another, another function. Let's do a summary. So this is the slash command area. We can actually either click here, which actually bring out the commands, or actually we can actually type slash over here and maybe give a shortcut, you know. Or maybe you want to say, say with summary. Okay, we want an extended summary of this uh, web page, or maybe a simple summary. So let's say we want to have a, a better summary, we put an extended summary. You can see that the prompt is here. Analyze the website content and report the key points in bullet point. Add a title to the report. There should be no limit in the words, you know, because it's an extended uh, summary. And ensure all the points are concisely reported. Please use as, as many bullet points as needed. At the end of the report, add a paragraph, key takeaway with key takeaway from the text. Answer in language, uh, web page content is a page. So these are the prompt. And this double bracket is actually uh, based on the web page. If the web page is the your know, setting is the English, then it's actually follow English. You can be put other language in your native language. And page means this is the web page that we are talking about. So the report will appear after that we click this button, you know, which is actually enter. So for the sake of a demo, let's do this uh, extended summary. Now, actually, the title has already been what I call uh, generated, and these are the bullet points. So basically, there's nothing new in here. Only thing that you know, you don't have to go into your chat GPT, uh, what they call this uh, format, uh, no, chat GPT platform, but actually, you are actually using the chat GPT at the back. So this is the key. Uh, key points and also the key takeaway a summary. So you can actually read a lot of a uh, web page you know, by going here or go to any other web page using this command. So this is the uh, summary page. And let's move to another uh, function that I'm talking about. For example, we want to do a, a video, look at a one video here. I've chosen this video uh, by Neil Patel, uh, seven tools to write the content faster. So now we want to read, we do not want to what they call watch a video in full because it takes a lot of time. Maybe we just want to have the YouTube summary. Let's type YouTube. This is a shortcut. You no, know, when you type the YouTube, it will be some all the command regarding YouTube will come upon uh, will come along. So this is the command or the prompt. So read transcript of a YouTube video to produce the short summary or, and key takeaway. Let's click this. Okay, this uh, prompt is actually say, I give you a YouTube video transcript from the page, page description. If this page is empty, you know, output transcript is missing, blah, blah, blah. So actually, 
this is actually quite a what I call simple prompt. And here they actually uh, ask them, ask ChatGPT to actually uh, condense it into a single paragraph up to three sentences and provide, you know, uh, five key, five key uh, takeaway. So it's actually a summary of what is this uh, video all about. Actually, this Chrome extension actually summarize a page or, or what you call this transcript of this YouTube and then summarize it into a summary. So let's do it now. Okay, you can see that no, the summary is here. And I would say that this is a quite a accurate summary. I mean, basically, this is a ChatGPT 3.5 uh, capability. So this YouTube video is a seven tool that help you write content faster, including answer properly, uh, Uber suggest, we start create Grammarly, Lumen 5, potent content generator, Hemingway. So this is a summary, emphasize the importance of fresh or updated content and how the tool can streamline the content processes. So these are the key takeaway. So with this tool and with this prompt, you don't have to actually go through the video yourself because it, some videos are very long. You can actually summarize it and you can see whether you want to continue watching it in the in the video. So let's do another prompt. Uh, this time we want to maybe do some alternative. Create a list of alternative products or topics, you know, uh, for this video because they have seven tools here. Maybe you want to have another seven tools or whatever alternative. Let's click this. Generate a list of up to eight alternative or the product or topic described in the web page or text. For every alternative, write very short list, pros and cons, you know, if any, answer in the language. This is the parameters, you know, the web page or text, you know. So we are talking about a web page here. This is a web page. Let's go. And the chat GPT is actually working behind. Okay, this is the alternative. You know? Let's see whether the alternative is good. Okay, this is not too bad. Uh, except two are the same, you know, Hemingway editor and Grammarly is actually repeated over here. So anyway, these are actually some of the alternative solution or alternative products, you know, as listed over here. You can see that, you know, we have this uh, Grammarly and also Hemingway app here. So it's repeated. So as we say, we know that, you no, know, ChatGPT is not perfect. You know, sometimes they make mistake. Anyway, we will continue with the next uh, function. Since we are in the same YouTube video, uh, we can actually do a YouTube summary. YouTube summary we have done, sorry. Uh, we can actually do a YouTube description, uh, write a YouTube description based on this uh, YouTube. Let's uh, type YouTube. Sorry, U Y O U T U. So YouTube description generator. So this uh, prompt will actually generate the title, description, and hashtag for the YouTube video idea. Let's click here. So enter the YouTube video idea or keywords, you know. So, okay, here we have few options. We actually enter the YouTube idea uh, or the keyword ourselves. For example, the best places to visit Finland. But this is not what we want. We can actually uh, use the transcript. Tap here, use the transcript. Or maybe we can actually... Oh, hold on, let me the crop the, the extension. We have to open the, the extension again. We can actually use the page URL here or page description. Page description means this is a video description and also the page URL. So maybe we can just, just use this uh, page URL. Then you will actually visit this URL and try to give you a, a YouTube description uh, based on this URL. Let's do it. Okay, that's perfect answer. So the video is about teaching video 
oh, this is wrong. <laughs> this video is about teaching viewers how to make a homemade pizza from scratch. So I think this is wrong. So I think they didn't get the YouTube URL uh, correctly. Let's do again and see whether it's a... Uh, let Maybe we will put the YouTube trans transcription. Hopefully this time is good. Okay, this is good. <laughs> so you can see that you no know, chat GPT is not perfect. Sometimes it gives you the wrong answer. I mean that is rare because it's completely out, you know, it's only out for pizza. Okay, so this is the YouTube description, blah 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 here, and this is the summary of this uh tool that is talking about, you know, based on based on this uh, YouTube description or the transcript, you know. Next, we look at this uh, another uh, function that we can actually use, uh, maybe a very popular uh, thing that people want to do using uh, ChatGPT is actually uh, copywriting as well as SEO. So let me open up this uh, Neil Patel article called Pinterest uh, Marketing, the your ultimate guide. So let's bring up some of the prompt. So the slash command is actually to bring up the prompt. And the prompt that we are going to, to do now is actually, uh, let me see SEO, we tap SEO and see what are the prompts available. There are many prompts available. Let's go, I'm looking at the prompt SEO extract. Okay, SEO. Okay, I'm looking at this uh, extract and research uh, SEO keywords using this article. We want to extract the keywords. Let's do it. So there are two ways of doing it. You know, either you paste the competitor's uh, article content, you know, up to three. I mean, three thousand means the tokens, you know and press enter to extract the keywords. So let's do that. Maybe we just uh, use the page text, you know. So this is the page we are here because this uh, Chrome extension is actually page aware, you know. Whenever you come to the web page, you actually know that this is a web page we are talking about. Let's do it. So you can see that you know, the keywords are actually tabulated in uh, three columns. Uh, first column is kiwi, a uh, keyword, sorry. Second column is density, and the third column is uh, uh, LSI keywords. You know those uh, se uh, se semantic keywords. You know. So you can see that you know Pinterest uh, marketing basically is the mostly used keyword. You know, four point four point five percent. You know? The others are actually optimization, SEO, the kind of thing. So these keywords will be good for you to do a uh, keyword research as well, or maybe to write an article. Next, we want to do a, a keyword report. Maybe I can do a keyword report. SEO again. Keyword report. Okay, this is keyword report. Create a keyword report and SEO content from one keyword. So this is a related, uh, related uh, what they call a uh, command. Maybe we can just put Pinterest marketing. So this is the keyword we want. Let's go. You can see that this command actually uh, give you a keyword report, you know. For example, the keywords here is uh, Pinterest marketing, the next keyword is Pinterest ad, and they actually give you the search intent, you know, uh, and what are the titles, and which are the meta description. So these are the, what you call, uh, keywords or maybe article that you can actually use it, you know, uh, in your article, including the titles and the meta description. Okay, next one, uh, let me do another one. If you want to write a better article, SEO article, you can actually use this uh, Outrank 
SEO article command. Assuming that you know you want to write a better article uh, than this Neil Patel on this uh, Pinterest marketing. Okay, leave empty and to pass the product description from the web page. So we actually want to uh, outrank this article and see what the JGPT uh, trying to give you an answer. Let's click. Okay, it's pretty fast, you know. Uh, and I think they are going to write a short article on this one. I'm not too sure how long is it. Most probably not very long, but it gives you some idea how to actually, you know, uh, outrank this article. Okay, this looks good actually. Mm -hmm. It's pretty long. Yeah, it keep on writing. So I think this is quite a good uh, article. In that sense, of course, I didn't. Uh, we have. I mean, this is just a uh, just generator. You no, know? we have. We have to check the fact and also do some editing uh, for that. So it actually give you another title which is actually uh, i believe is a, a better title you know a comprehensive guide for business success in 2023 okay let's do another the last uh, one who maybe not the last one will be the second last one seo audit seo audit okay this is the one the prompt Audit and improve your content, you know, uh, based on this uh, Google EEAT format, you know, generate H1 and meta title. Let's do that. So the prompt is uh, enter your SEO article content or leave blank to pass from the page. You know, so we actually want to use this same page. Let's click enter now. It will actually audit the page to see what are the improvement that you need to do you know, on this page, you know. So of course, uh, Neil Patel is uh, one of the top SEO gurus. So I want to see how actually this uh, ChatGPT uh, gives comment on how to improve it, you know, in terms of SEO. Okay, let's see some of the content. Page quality rating needs improvement. Of course, everybody needs improvement. Expertise, the author Neil Patel is a well-known marketer, but the page does not product produce enough information for to showcase his uh, expertise on Pinterest marketing specifically. Okay, authoritiveness, external sources to support this claim which lower the authoritiveness. Trustworthiness, you know, does not provide any disclaimer or information. I think these are actually quite a general uh, explanation. So the CTA is a book of call, you know, could be seen as a bias toward their own service. Yeah, could be quite honest. Okay, suggestion for improvement, add external sources, add a disclaimer clause, make more specific information, you know, remove and rephrase CTA, book a call to avoid bias, uh, provide specific example and case study. Okay, that's uh, quite a generic uh, uh, answer. Provide more detailed and actionable tips, you know, that is very specific. Use clear and concise uh, language, you know, that kind of thing. And H1 title and also text suggestion. This is the one, you know, how to improve your Pinterest marketing strategy for increased sales and brand visibility, the ultimate guide for 2023. I think this is the better title, you know, basically, you know. And the original title, Pinterest, your marketing guide is actually quite simple. The only thing, good thing is actually, I believe, you know, the uh, Neil Patel is trying to uh, target this uh, printers uh, marketing this keyword you know in their title as well and also in the slack you know, the url so let's say we want to use this title and write another title write another article long form article let's copy this first and look up on the prompt on long form article okay this is a long form article writer let's do it so this prompt actually generate a plagiarism free content for your blog. Okay, enter article title. We have chosen this title. Let's press go. Any information? I think we can actually add other information, maybe the tone, the length, 
or maybe specific restriction they want to be want uh, do not want the ChatGPT to go out of the context that kind of thing. But for the inform for our demo, we just leave it blank and just click enter now. One thousand eight hundred words long. So you will keep on writing, you know, 1,800 words. So this is actually something that, you know, I find that uh, this uh, HAPA.AI Chrome extension is actually very, very powerful. This is one of the best uh, Chrome extension around because you can do a lot of things, you know, from over 100 prompts that they've provided. But you also can add your own prompt if you want to, you know, just add your own prompt because chat GPT, you know, how good it is, you know, it depends on your prompt. If your prompt is good, your output will be good. Okay, let's see. These are the content. Okay, maybe we want to increase the length of the article. We can actually click continue because there is another, because there is limitation on this uh, chat GPT uh, to give up the output. We can actually ask him to continue. So this is the uh, continue uh, prompt, you know, because ChatGPT 3 is limited to 4,000 token per run, you know. So let's do that. Please continue writing. You did not finish. Let's do it. Okay, so yeah, I think this is something that, you know, uh, it could be a little bit disjointed because uh, earlier they didn't have a one, two, three, four, five, six. But anyway, this is the, uh, the problem of this chat GPT, but we can always, you know, keep on uh, churning out the output, you know, the most important thing is the content. Okay, let's, uh, I think this is the, the conclusion and they have actually finished the uh, writing all the article okay so guys this is how actually uh hapa ai uh, do on this what it call their use cases on marketing seo copywriting recruiting or maybe product development or uh, spreadsheets so now we go to the next uh, additional uh, function which is not present in any other uh, chat gpt uh, chrome extension this is called a uh, web monitoring let me go to this website you know uh, page ground for example so we have two function basically first function is actually ai which, which actually just now we have gone through you know to write some of the popular uh, long form or maybe some short form uh, kind of content now we're actually doing some monitoring. So with this, we can actually monitor a lot of things. I have actually monitored two things at the present moment. First thing is monitor my website. You know, this is a since the morning this morning. Uh, there is no changes in my website. And and also monitor this uh, HAPA AI uh, website. So far, it's still okay. Up. Let's go to the dashboard. So you can see that, you know, these are the monitoring dashboard here so you want to monitor the page you just click here let's say for example we want to monitor this uh, page count page let's monitor this page this is the item let's click and there are many things for you to to do over here because uh, i have not gone into very detail but we can actually do a lot of things for example you can actually monitor changes in the tags and what are the trigger now how many percent of changes or if you pack the page con uh, contains what tax you know or the tax is removed so this kind of thing so let's see and you can actually do some integration with other uh, integration generator and by default they actually uh, integrate with me or in uh, in 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 the gromat you know and you can actually play a sound but you have to integrate this you might actually have this account with this mate or into uh we call it integromat you know in the past we call integromat so send an event to 1000 uh, uh 
uh, apps, you know, where make.com. So this is the integration. It's something like Zapier. Okay. So first trigger, do not limit. Uh, once, uh, that means uh, you can actually uh, notify, you know, once an hour or once in three in terms of the how are you going to send the notification, uh, send the trigger. Okay, let's close this. And are you going to send them an email as well? If you want, you can actually, you know, uh, set a setting here, send them an email and use some of the SMTP setting. And also the webhook, you know, the party webhook, you want to do it, you know, I believe once you have this webhook, you can actually uh, use a Zapier or maybe the other one, uh, Public Connect. So I have not gone into detail to be frank, so, but I'll just let you know that, you no, know, this is quite a useful web monitoring uh, platform. This is an additional function of this uh, HAPA.ai. You can actually monitor, monitor uh, the web page, also a monitor web stock, that kind of things. So let's do, so this, we are actually monitoring this uh, page ground page. So after you have set all the setting, you can just click start here, start automate page monitoring. Let's go to the web page, uh, the, the dashboard. So you can see that now we have additional, now we have additional uh, here. This is the first thing, the first one, you know, that is coming running pageground.com, this web page. Okay, so you can actually stop all the tasks if you want to. You can monitor additional page if you want to. So this is how uh, this, this uh, AI monitoring uh, work in this HAPA.AI. Uh, and the best thing for this uh, Chrome extension now is because this is completely free. So I would highly suggest that or recommend that you download this one and connect it to your uh, ChatGPT uh, platform. And you can start doing a lot of magic using this. And I personally try it out for the last few days and I'm actually convinced that you know, this is one of the best, you know, if, not, if not the best uh, Chrome extension for ChatGPT. So that's it. This is my demo and also a kind of a tutorial on how to use Hapa.ai uh, Chrome extension. And I believe this is one of the, what they call, better Chrome extension in the market. And at the present moment, it's still free. And hopefully that, you know, they will improve the product uh, further so that it can become more powerful. So if you like our video like this, please uh, consider to subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, by clicking the links, uh, the subscribe button uh, below. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.